Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unwrapping of the Dances with Wolves Blu-ray Stillbook, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to do an unwrapping of both of the Dances with Wolves Blu-ray Stillbooks. We have this one here that was released in November 2018. This right here is the um, Shop Factory Collector's Edition. I do believe it has three discs. And as it says, it is only 10,000 manufactured. So I grabbed it while I could. Apparently it's still available. And then also I recently picked up the Walmart exclusive Blu-ray Stillbook with some different artwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap these and then we can take a closer look at each of these. So here's the one from 2018. Here's the front. Then here's the back. If you'd like to read up on it, check all of these special features out, you can go ahead and pause and do so. So as I remove the backing from this one, we can take a closer look at this artwork. So we do have a lightly glossed still book. There's no embossing or debossing. Really nice looking image there. Then here's the back. So as we open this one up, it is a nice continuation from the front and the back. Really like that image. On the inside, this one does come with a three disc. So on disc one, we do have the theatrical cut with this disc art. And then on disc two, we have the um, extended cut with this artwork. And then on disc three, I do believe these are the special features and with this different artwork. So all three discs have different artwork, which is nice. On the inside, it does have an image, kind of hard to see. But overall, I think this is a really nice looking still book. So recently I saw this edition in a Walmart store. was very surprised. I thought, you know, I've already got that still book. Probably no reason to get it. And then I looked closer at the one that I had already had in the collection and noticed that the artwork was different. Um, apparently this one is only one disc. As you can see, it does have the details of the film in here, but it does not have anything about any bonus features. So I'm thinking that this right here is, a, a, is only a one disc set. So let me go ahead and unwrap this one and we can take a close look at this still book. Okay, I've got the wrapper off and the card removed. So this one is more of a matte finish. Again, some great looking artwork there. I do like that. And it does have some spot gloss there within the title. And then here's the back with another great looking image. We open this one up. We have our front and back together. So no continuation there, but great looking artwork on the front and the back. On the inside, as I was suspecting, this right here is only a one disc set. So it does have just the film on here. Um, trying to remember if this would be the extended cut or the theatrical cut. So really not sure. Probably have to check the back to see. And we do have some inside artwork, which is different artwork on the inside, which I like that they did something different. But overall, I think this right here is a really nice looking still book also. So I am really happy that I was able to add both of these to the collection. Again, like I said, I got this one back in 2018. I don't know that this version is still available, um, but definitely check it out if you're interested in the three disc set. Um, but this one I found at Walmart, pretty inexpensive. I'm so happy to have this one in the collection also. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular Stubuck unwrappings. Let me know what your thoughts are on Dances with Wolves. I think Kevin Costner is a great actor. I really do enjoy this movie. I think it's an epic film, one that everybody should at least check out once. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out again. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't connected with me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on X. If you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. 
Um, I do have all of those linked down below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.